Alright, on the last episode I said we are going to play Castlevania, but I forgot there's still one level we haven't played, Future Fuckball 2010. So we're done. Now this level was the level that they showed, that they played through, on um, when they showed on ScrewAttack.com. I know I don't want to just say a refrain from playing this one, but we played all the other ones, so fuck it. Not really. We got some Rob the Robots going on. Go up the ladders. Fuck, this is gonna be tough. Got it. Bam! Got the new toaster! Kill that fucking flying squid. Gotta make sure we like check all the areas for secrets. So I'm trying to get some. I want to get some secrets. Floating death block. I think there's just no creativity put into this fucking. To the death block. It's just like, yeah, they're just, you touch them and you die. Couldn't even come up with like a better enemy. But that's the whole joke. But I appreciate it. And that, that is one of the times when I appreciate it. The death blocks are funny and I appreciate it. See if there's anything off to the right here. I'm just a bridge of death. So we're gonna go left for now. That was dumb. Oh! Apparently, I only have one life left. No big deal. Thought that I lost all my lives. Apparently, I had one left. Robots. Squids. Oh, I was still on the ladder. Sheesh. Glitch grandma. Kill these fucking boys. I'm noticing a lot of, um, not necessarily in the stage, but as overall, we're getting a lot of Mega Man inspiration, a lot of Mega Man classic inspiration, a lot of Super Mario World inspiration. Um, not just in aesthetics, but with a lot of the gameplay, like with the disappearing, reappearing blocks, and then we have the the, um, the Boo Haunted House level. We had the little train, the moving train of platforms. And then we also had the bouncy platforms, those are kind of like the musical notes in Super Mario Bros. 3. So yeah, drawing from some of the fucking best games ever, so gotta give them that. anything worth getting over here. Yes! James! Or not James. Fuck. Guitar guy! Yeah! Oh, I can't. Kyle Justin. We got Kyle Justin. Kyle Justin the Skeleton. It wasn't originally a skeleton. And then boom! Now we're over here. I like that he's a skeleton. I don't know why he's a skeleton, but I appreciate it. 
Oh. Oh, did you see that pro fucking footwork? Oh, whatever. We got us. We got us, Kyle Justin. Rocking out. We got some rocking tunes. People blowing up my phone's phones. Oh, wow. Alright, let's kill some squids. Dogs freaking out. My mom's like, my dog is jumping all over me. I was like, so feed her, whatever. She's a dog. She'll be dead soon. Concentrate. Not cool having enemies here. They definitely took their time on this level. Oh, whoops. And I didn't. You can tell, because there's a lot of a lot of catchphrasing going on and shit like that. It doesn't happen as much on the other levels. This one is clearly their baby. We got one of these fucking Jimmy Jams going on. Good. And er Fucking bug in the spacesuit. We'll go over her. Oh god. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. Concentrate. Take it slow. Nice and easy. Nice. And easy. Just tap it. Just tap it. Give it a little tap it. Tap, tap, tap a root. Oh damn. Man. Alright, we're doing alright, we're doing okay. We got this. We got this, we can handle this. We made it to the checkpoint, that's all that really matters. Get the super mech death Christ and just fucking get the fuck out of here. Yes, Crotum guns. That's what we're gonna do for this. Bam. Tough with the serpent. That wouldn't be as hard if the balls, the little uh, circle -y balls, weren't there. So I'm down here. Is it worth it going down here? Nope. This might be the, the way to go. Up the other way. All right. Boing, boing, boing. Got it. Kill that. Oops. Oh well. Waste this super mega death Christ. I'm trying to figure out why the guitar guy is dead. Did he not give him his likeness or something? You'd think Kyle would be all over that. I know if someone wanted to put me in a video game, I would suck a dick. Just saying. Another reason I'm excited to play, um, I don't know how it works, but apparently they're putting people's character likenesses of certain uh, benefactors into the Shovel Knight game. Supposedly, uh, Aaron Eagleraptor Hansen gave enough money to have his likeness in the game, so it should be interesting. I wonder how that's gonna work out. Got some scrotum guns. Some scrotum guns! Eh, mm -hmm. yeah, made it. Oh, here's the... <sighs> Silver Surfer. Holy cripes. This is hard. Got rocket balls, rocket cocks. Uh, now I've already seen the boss for this level, which means you guys probably have. And it's the fucking bitch from that flying game for Sega CD. That stupid fucking terrible game for the Sega CD. Or no, not the Sega CD. It's her Jaguar, what am I thinking? 
Crown Drum, white stuff at me. Keep mashing that shoot button. This is the part I was talking about. I think it was Silver Surfer that was like this, where you have to be constantly shooting. But you can't hold down the shoot button to shoot. It's the same concept here. It's gonna cool, got it. There she is. Whoa. Ooh, she is tough. She gets, she gets angry. Alright, I think the guitar guy is the way to go here. We don't want to waste that health. Yes! Victory! We've defeated another one! Nice! Alright, now next time you will see Assylvania. <laughs>